Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Chris and we have another little update on the Eastern Europe photo road trip which um, yeah, is starting to come together so um, yeah I am uh, now planning to do the scouting trip starting on August the 14th I think 14th of August um, from southern Germany. I'll be down south because I am going to meet a good friend, Andres. You might know him from the early days of Tips from the Top Floor. He is the guy who came up with the logo and uh, the, the, he's a graphic designer. He designed the artwork for a couple of mugs and things that um, we did some merch back then. And uh, he, he's an outright nice guy. We uh, saw each other a couple years ago, before the pandemic, end of 2019, here in Germany. And he's coming back to Germany. Um, I think he's visiting friends in all over Europe, so he's traveling. And uh, he'll be down in southern Germany, and I'll meet up with him. So that's my starting point. It's going to be my starting point for the scouting tour which will take me, well, I'll skip Berlin, I'll skip Dresden, I know these places. So I will um, head straight over from Southern Germany, Stuttgart area, over to Prague, and I'll do some scouting there. I will then, well, the, 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 uh, the road trip will then go to Vienna. I will skip Vienna because I know Vienna good enough so that is already solved and then uh, the next stop will be Budapest and uh, I'll definitely spend some time there check out things and then I'll carry on to Romania to Transylvania to uh, hook up with um, Henry who I met I don't even know three years ago some four years ago um, he, he was the expedition expedition leader and guide for us on one of the Arctic uh, tours that I did and uh, he knows Romania he lives in Romania now he knows the place really well and uh, so we're gonna spend a couple of days there exploring the area and um, shooting some doing some photography uh, picking out some of the best places to go and so on and last night I have booked some of the hotels going down there um, which I've seen some that well okay wait wait before I see Henry I will have a stop between Budapest at his place at the at a national park which is um, quite famous for birders I'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's Hortobagi or something along those lines um, H-O-R-T-O-B-A-G-Y National Park uh, check it out so um, that might make the trip interesting for birders we are not gonna spend several days there I know for birding you might want to spend more time in one place uh, but that might still be a nice opportunity there is a nice beautiful lodge down there that is um, that looks straight out over the lake and the marshlands there so um, that's definitely a good stop and then yeah I'm checking out other hotels to make sure that we can we can live in style while we are doing that tour. So yeah, for a tour date, I'm still not decided, but it's gotta be next year, 2023. It's gotta be, it's got to be, I, it feels like springish, summerish, maybe May, June time frame. I have the uh, the biggest, my biggest photo workshop of the year, or the only one for this year, hopefully a bit more next year, um, is the Abbey workshop. One week in southern Germany in the old Abbey with like 30 people. Um, that's around that time frame. So I will try to space them out a bit because 
with, with regards to COVID and so on, that is probably the highest risk event right now because there are so many people and it, the, the risk of infection increases exponentially with the amount of people. So we are, um, I'm looking at spacing this out just in case I catch it, which I, God forbid, um, I'm really not looking forward to to catching that thing. Um, this Especially because there's a 10% chance, 10% of the infected people develop long COVID symptoms. Um, not a friend of that. So um, yeah, I'm spacing that out to decrease the risk of me getting sick. So it's gotta be at least two to three weeks, maybe a month out from that. So probably looking like a either April or June thing. Um, yeah, that's the plan for now. And then um, again, two to three people in this car and we are going to um, gonna be traveling in style and we are going to, oh yeah, and, and another purpose of that scouting trip is of course the whole um, charging situation. I have already checked the hotels. There's plenty of hotels with a charging infrastructure so you can charge up overnight. There is, um, again, this is a Tesla, so there is the Tesla supercharger network all the way down there. So that will be easy sailing because those chargers are amazing. It's the best charging infrastructure on the planet. Um, and uh, we're gonna make use of that. We're gonna make use of that. So for, for like a five hour stretch, I don't think we will have any five hour stretches. I think we're talking two, three, maximum four hours of driving in during the midday. Uh, for any of those stretches, um, we'll have probably a stop around the two hour drive, two hour driving, 20 minute stop, two hours driving. So it's yeah, it doesn't really add anything because you would have stopped anyway. So um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, this will be amazing. This will be awesome, fun. That was a Tesla. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for now. Thanks for your attention and see you guys in the next one.